electromagnetic waves carry information such as sound, video, or digital data through the air without the need for a medium. The process of receiving these waves and converting them into useful signals is called reception. The main components of a receiving system are the antenna, tuner, and receiver circuit. When electromagnetic waves travel through space, they carry alternating electric and magnetic fields. When these waves from different stations strike a metallic antenna, the electric field exerts a force on the free electrons, pushing and pulling them back and forth. As the field alternates, the electrons begin to oscillate collectively. This movement of charge constitutes a small alternating current in the antenna, producing an alternating voltage across its terminals. The frequency of this induced voltage is exactly the same as that of the incoming EM wave. The antenna is designed to resonate at specific frequencies. It acts like an electrical resonator. However, the current produced in the antenna contains a mix of signals from many stations. To select only one, the radio uses a tuner circuit, which is a resonant LC circuit. By adjusting the capacitance or inductance, the tuner circuit resonates at a particular frequency, just like turning the dial to tune your favorite station. The tuner allows only the desired frequency to pass, suppressing all others. When a carrier EM wave of matching frequency reaches the antenna, it sets up strong oscillations due to resonance. These oscillations create a weak AC voltage at the antenna terminals, which is then sent to the receiver circuit for amplification and processing. The selected weak signal is amplified, and then a demodulator separates the original audio, video, or digital data information from the carrier wave. To ensure clarity, the receiver employs filter circuits that remove unwanted frequencies and electrical noise. These functions are discussed in detail in separate videos. The final output is then sent to speakers or display units.